A new book is soon to be released about serial killer Robert Leroy Anderson and his victims. It's titled Duct Tape Killer and is co-authored by the same couple who brought you Gitchy Girl. Hello, Lance Don Jorgensen has been digging into our archives and takes a look back at Anderson, his heinous crimes, and why surrounding communities were on edge. Robert Leroy Anderson only has to look... Robert Leroy Anderson was an evil man who bragged to friends about how he liked torturing and murdering women. His crimes began in 1994 when 29-year-old Marissa Damansky disappeared after working the night shift at John Morrell & Company in Sioux Falls, the same place Anderson worked. Two years later, another woman disappeared. She was 28-year-old Piper Striley of Canastota. In the months that followed, investigators began honing in on Anderson as a possible suspect in both women's disappearances. They found evidence that Anderson had made tire poppers to try and disable vehicles on the highway. They also learned that Anderson had taken time off of work when both women disappeared. Was it coincidence or were authorities slowly piecing together a malicious and methodic plan by Anderson? As the investigation continued to unfold, one of the key witnesses, Glenn Walker, a friend of Anderson's, told authorities disturbing details of how Anderson had been stalking women in and around the Sioux Falls area. But no closing argument. Uh, in 1997, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anderson was convicted of kidnapping Striley and was sentenced to life in prison. That same year, he was charged with raping and murdering both Striley and Damansky and was later found guilty of both crimes. In 1999, five years after his first killing, Anderson was sentenced to die by lethal injection. And before Anderson could be executed, in 2003, he died by hanging himself in his prison cell. Tonight at 10, we're going to sit down with the three authors who wrote the book Duct Tape Killer. Duct Tape Killer was kind of uh, Robert Lee Ray Anderson's signature. He used duct tape in a variety of ways in this crime. Tune in tonight to see the crimes, the capture, and conviction of Robert Leroy Anderson on tonight's Eye on Killerland at 10. Thanks, Don. That's just the beginning of our coverage. Killerland News has covered the story since the very beginning. And right now on Killerland.com, we're bringing you a digital documentary. Killerland.com reporter Michael Guerin has been digging through our archives to give you a detailed look back at one of the most high-profile cases in South Dakota history. A nice...